I think that dance is important. Um, I think it's an important art form. I don't necessarily think it's important to every human being on earth. And I think that, um, I think everyone can appreciate dance as a form of art um, by watching it or by doing it, but it's so personal that you've got to find that personal connection to it and then, and then it becomes important in your life. I dance because it is my way of expression. I dance because it makes me feel myself. I dance because it just makes me happy. I don't really know how to put it into words. It fills me up. When I'm feeling sad, dancing just makes me forget all my problems and it just makes me feel like I'm up in the clouds. <laughs> I like the feeling of it and I like how it makes me fit. It's a way for me to show my creativity to the rest of the world and express myself in a way that I can't do in a classroom or at home. I feel like in real life I'm really like constricted but then in dance I can do whatever I want. I dance because it's ingrained in every ounce of my being. <laughs> uh, I, I just have always done it, and I've always had a passion for it. I first started dancing um, in Africa with my whole family. Um, we dance uh, at like parties or events to like you know earn money for you know to live. Anybody inspire me? No, it was kind of like uh, I always fidgeted, fidget. I always, I don't know if that's right. <laughs> um. The person who made me want to dance is my seventh grade day dance teacher, Miss Jove. Cause she, I hated dance, and then she made me fall in love with it. My mom, because when she was growing up, she was a dancer, and so like when I was growing up, she would always like dance with us, and like I would see her, and it was just an inspiration for me. What makes me unique as a dancer? I'm really tall, and so got long legs, and so it makes you like can kick real high, pretty flexible. What makes me unique as a dancer is I like really strange movements, like outside the box. I don't know. I don't like follow like what the world's doing. You know, I kind of just do my own thing. I bring a lot of energy, I guess. I'm not, I I'm not the best dancer, but I can try hard enough and like show the movement the way like I feel it should be. The emotion that I want to give to the audience to make them feel what I feel. I always, when I'm learning dances, I always kind of find my own story because when you, a choreographer is teaching us, they're basically teaching us to tell their story. But while I'm doing it, I am able to like make it my own and sort of tell my own story with the movement that I'm doing kind of. I feel like just the way I create my movement and like when I improv, like when improv happens, it's something that you create like on the spot and not something you think about a lot. And so I feel like um, my creativity and like my art form goes into that. And so that makes me more different from like everybody else. I'm super excited for concert. Like, I, I don't know, I love performing on stage. It's like an adrenaline rush. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the most nerve-wracking thing on earth. Um, you get a lot of butterflies. <laughs> I love being on stage because it makes like the dance feel real. It makes it feel more important. It's like putting the dance on a pedestal or like anything on a pedestal, no matter what you're doing. I think it just makes you feel really important. I think I would just like to say that I'm really excited about the maturity of this this concert, the maturity of the dancers, the level of performance, the level of the type of pieces we're putting out there. To me, it feels more like a college show than it feels like a high school show, and that's really exciting for me. I'm just really proud of everyone for stepping up and rising up to that level.